Oh my god. Okay. So I was gonna yell at me in the comments about speeding on the heritage run. No one That's uses fine. that road. We saw no we, we went four hundred miles and saw three cars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it was in the de- it was in not even the dead of night because we had to wake up at three AM to get a boat. Yeah. Yeah. The thing um, the thing about well there's your problem as a podcast is that uh, if we if we are travelling to a location, we will arrive there very quickly. Do as yeah. we say, not as we do. Yes. Oh, heart, yes. yes. <laughs> this is the uh, the <laughs> Patreon episodes where we admit to all the illegal things we've done. Yes. yes. <laughs> I've never uh, done any crimes. I'm genuinely I'm such a fucking nerd. Come I don't, on, Alice, let's do I, this. Uh, yeah, I, I've about n- to say. I don't I don't even cheat the like self checkout at grocery stores. Well, um, you know what, Alice? At the rate the UK is going, being trans will be a crime soon. Um, I was about yeah, to make makes that me joke. Feel a lot yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could apply for asylum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a woman did. A woman applied uh, and got asylum in New Zealand because of how how transphobic the UK is. So Damn. you know, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe maybe move down there. Our, our next category is the obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> Fun at your kids' birthday parties. Not so fun fighting for your life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ben- Benyon Gardner sent these in. This is apparently a sidewalk intended to be used for bikes in Daybreak, Utah. Um, which Stupid is a sort name of for a place. Mormon new urbanist community. I hate uh, all of those words, and especially <laughs> in that order. <laughs> 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 I, I do I do like the little sort of like impressed uh bicycle marker. Yeah, uh, that's why I really like this because it shows that somebody cares. N- nice to look at, not nice to ride over. <laughs> no. What's interesting is this this town seems to have very nice bike infrastructure otherwise, but this is pretty dumb. Uh that's, that's for all the weirdos that moved out to Utah for mm. silicon slopes bullshit nonsense. Mm. All those like we're boys, I don't know. Yeah, you, you, you're riding this along to, to Temple and you get perfectly decapitated by your incredibly starched shirt collar when you Hello, hit yeah. that lamppost. Hello, yes. Brigham Young Money, your state is stupid. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at this community on, um, on Google Maps and it's interesting because it is, it is like your classic like late 90s uh, new urbanist community, but the, the focal point is the Temple. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ross. Yes. It's, Don't you want to live on your own god planet or whatever the it's hell it is? More just Fallout New Vegas. Um, and yeah, no, absolutely. This is what Salt Lake City looks yeah. like in New Vegas. This is a separate bicycle path from Twitter user Arnold Gull, right? And this is this is a, a this is a, a piece of uh, fencing here designed to slow you down. So you don't blow through this crossing on this presumably seldom used gravel road. Yeah, it's a little a little chicane, uh, which you can ride through very easily by simply taking both hands, putting them on your hips, and then inverting three of your bottom mm-hmm. vertebrae. Um, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Oh. Manson river to suck your own dick there. Yeah, yeah. This does not appear to be possible even to walk a bike through. No, you got to like hoist it over, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's or pretty, just go around. Just go around. That's bit, what I would which do. Is just completely <laughs> unfenced. Yeah, yeah. There were a lot of these submitted too. Um, quite a few of them in the UK, in particular. Oh, we love like uh, British local politicians love putting these usually in metal yeah. in. Oh yeah, uh, the in, metal in, ones. Yeah, yeah in, in alleyways to stop youths, uh, which is, who are the greatest enemy of of the British reactionary, even ahead of trans people. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's true. From from riding anything from like little push scooters all the way through to mopeds um, uh, through alleyways. Those alleyways Why? are only uh, because uh, uh, spite. Um, okay. Asbos. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and it, it, it's something that, like, they can post a photo of themselves next to, being like, "Look, we're doing something." Yeah, and here it is here uh, on mm-hmm. the first one here in Manchester. This is I've seen so many of these in the UK that look just like this, just absolutely ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know why you need to slow people down here, other than I it's don't a bridge. know. I, I mean, I can ride over the bridge though. There, there's clear sight lines. It's it a, looks fine to me. It's a bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so, sometimes it's for like areas that are like 
intended purely to be pedestrian and, yeah. and a lot more times it's for areas that like are zoned are like coded for bikes but then everybody forgets that conveniently because they hate teens and so they decide unilaterally mm -hmm. that what that actually means is only pedestrians uh they'll do it mm. so um, this one is from mad cycle lanes of manchester which was a um website that i came across the other day um, that documents all sorts of things in Manchester like this. Now, uh, the only mm. thing I can say here is I, I think if you had an angle grinder, you might be able to uh, <laughs> take this out in forty-five <laughs> minutes or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this <laughs> is sort of less anything, but less a traffic calming measure and more a sort of like qualification and combat engineering. You get mm -hmm. your sapper tab once mm -hmm. you've like removed one of these. Um, and then on the other side, we see this is much more sane. I would say. Yeah, you can just somewhere yeah, in Germany. You can, you can negotiate. Still, yeah. You can actually get your bike through there. You still slow down right before the tram track, so you don't get you don't get murdered by the tram. Right. Um, yeah, I think you might have to like walk it through those, but like that's yeah. fine. It's not yeah, the part, yeah. I, I'm not mad about that one quite as much. Right. You can get mad about the next one. Right. So this was uh, this was a Wheels for Wellbeing.co.uk, which is an organization in the UK that's all about accessible infrastructure. And they have Oh, it's awesome. They mm -hmm. have an inclusive cycling campaign because in the UK there is no acknowledgement at all that anyone other than people in their like men in their twenties yeah. ride yeah. bicycles. Yes. And so yeah. they have a bunch of pictures here like this, like this one guy here on his hand trike who fell over trying to get through. Um this is all over the UK. And I hear stories from people um, uh, on my channel. I get people contacting me, telling me that it's like, this is the big problem that they have. Um, it's absolutely ubiquitous. It, it is. It really is. This kind of thing is everywhere in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I can't stress enough how much, like, I, I mentioned it as a joke, but a great deal of this is down to, like, sort of terror Spike. of antisocial behavior and of youths yeah, generally. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's all um, the asbos, it's all the like, you know, we can't an have these youths here. An antisocial behavior order, which is essentially oh, okay. a, a judge tells you that you're not allowed to be annoying anymore. Um yeah. like but generally what'll happen is because like British cities have a lot of like alleys um you know the but have backed onto on both sides by houses typically. Sure sure. And and what'll happen is like the most annoying person in that row of houses will go Oh, I don't like them youths. Complain to the local <laughs> councillor or MP. Their wow, their local was, MP uh, yeah. will, will see yeah, we'll see a quick win, uh put in the fucking uh barriers, take yeah. a photo next to them, and the thing is now completely inaccessible. Oh, interesting. Okay. That sounds like it sucks. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of nimbyism. Uh yes. yeah. Welcome to the UK. Why should people be allowed to enjoy their cities? Crabs in a bucket. Yep. All right, this moving on. This is Milan. You can see but that. But I this... thought Milan was all stylish and like relaxed and effortless. <laughs> yeah, that's why no one rides a bike, Alice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Go around, Sorry, your, guys. go around in your big, uh, your big uh, Alfa Romeo limousine, and then I'm, it dri I'm driving. Half. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving my Alfa Romeo. I'm wearing heels to do it. I'm just the yes. most Six insufferable person though. on earth. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I look extremely stylish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. No, zero, I have never had a positive emotion about anyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my, my bag cost 15 trillion euros. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's made of an animal so endangered you've never heard of it. Because <laughs> yeah. because yeah. The glue there was only ch one, and it's now my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The glue is Indonesian children's tears. <laughs> yes. Yeah, every day I flay my staff mercilessly in there so that they have to like oil all of my individual leather goods, of which I own far too many. Yes. I actually own a ranch in Texas to supply me with leather goods. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never I buy from my ranch. I wouldn't be caught dead in no, that no, no. ranch. I, I go through three wallets a day. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, once wallet. the wallet runs out of money, I throw it out and get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of an Alfa Romeo limousine cracking straight yeah. down the back. <laughs> this is, yeah, it gets a single particle of rust, all the doors fall off. <laughs> I'd be listen to that engine note. Yeah. I would be God, interested to know the history of this bike lane. 
or this bike path just because well, it was, uh, it was, no it's, it's in northern even. Italy it was created by the fascists uh, and then it was just <laughs> partially dynamited during the time of the Italian social republic <laughs> yeah they put the fence there to keep people from driving down it problem yeah. solved there you go Italian is famous for obeying rules mm. this one says location unknown but it's from uh, kicks reloaded on twitter I'm going to guess this is Bucharest. I was going to say, look right. Central European. Yeah, it yeah. looks Central European. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, but yeah, the, just... the bike path goes directly into a tree. The thing that that <laughs> so 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 impresses me, right, is like obviously this tree is has not grown overnight, right? Yes, which means right. they, yeah. they, they have put the, the bike path around it on yeah, purpose was, while this, it was this there. This was intentional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and, and like, then there's these these this other tree here clearly hmm. is um you know much newer. And of much lesser quality, so I don't know why you don't just chop down Cut that tree and go oh, around the existing they, tree. They planted those trees when they made the bike lane. Yeah, well, yeah. This I, is this is the thing you can fulfill your bike lane quota and your tree shading quota at the same time by just problem. having an entirely tree, like a slalom of like trees in the middle of your bike lane. Ceausescu uh, said, "Put the bike lane here," and they did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would have been Elena. Elena used. Yeah, I guess it would her, be Elena. Like, yeah, yeah her, her scientific acumen to determine that this is what you do. I'm impressed that they've maintained it to such a standard that, like, there's no root cracking or anything, despite the fact that it's over a fucking tree. Um, they have to repave it twice a year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is in Austin, Texas, from Tato Nader on Reddit. We all keep, float down keep, here. Keep Austin weird, and by that, <laughs> <laughs> we put bikes in the gutter. Please, uh -huh. please ride your bike directly into the storm drain. And fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something else, isn't it? <laughs> this bike lane just says "should have bought a car," and then it called mm -hmm. me a slur. <laughs> yes. It's really like you know, you, you get a mountain bike, you want to test out the suspension on that. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you want to ride a city bike, do it in a city that isn't Austin. Get a get a fucking trail bike. I gotta say, I mean, this this looks bad enough during the day. Imagine if you're riding at night, you don't notice that the <laughs> bike no lane hope. is suddenly death. suddenly instant split. Death. Yeah. yeah, just instant death. Fly right off the bike onto the road. Get run over by three eighteen wheelers. <laughs> Imagine if there's a little tiny bit of water on the ground. My God. Do just anywhere in like a five block radius because it's meant to go there. Oh my god. Here we go. Hey, Alice. Yes. What's dark fruit? Dark fruits? Oh, yeah. you think. Is it dark fruits with an S on the end? Uh, yes. Y you were thinking of uh, a brand of lager um, uh, made by the company Strongbow. That's what I thought. Thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's a very basic kind of lager, but it's for people who don't like the taste of apples. And if if I say um, Strongbow Dark Fruits Twitter, everyone in Britain will know what I mean. But oh, you no. won't. So yeah, it's like Fiat Five Hundred Twitter. It's 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 shorthand uh -huh. for a type of guy. Um, meantime, uh, check out this to stop you driving your castle down the bike lane. 